Hi, thanks for joining me for this tutorial on how to make a, sh a shaker card. Um, we're gonna use the whole background to make the shaker card and it kind of makes it a little bit easier so you don't have to worry about putting those elements together. This is the new clear embossing dauber from Ranger. We're using the Juan Fonstari Sky Stencil. I'm just adding embossing ink into those little places. I like that I can kind of control where I do that with the dauber. I'm using some gold embossing powder that we have in the shop in our craft side area. We have lots of embossing powders also for sale. This dual temp heat gun by Crafters Companion is one of my favorites. And we have one for every seat in the shop when we come in for workshops. I love watching embossing powder turn and create the solid form raised accents it does. It's so pretty. This is quarter inch foam tape. You always just want to work with a tape that will fit right under whatever you're popping up. We're just creating a reservoir to house all of the little elements that are going to shake around behind the card or behind the main attraction. These are the cutest little shaker card elements. I love all the dress my craft options that they have. These clouds are just adorable. And then I'm gonna add these pink fresh essential jewel mix. We have a bunch of, um, a couple different sets of the gems and they come with a bunch in each set. 12 to be exact. And here I am just flipping those all over so that the top is face up. And I'm being really careful when I add my plastic because if you can see there's still static electricity and if you accidentally pull up your finger and it is attached to that card in any way, all of those elements will just go everywhere. So this is a slow process and just trying to make sure you're not bumping that card and causing it to jump at all. So you've got that solid. Now I'm just going to use this uh, score tape. I'm going to put it on my mat there and I'm using it just to line up off of my card so that I don't screw up getting those placed right. So once I have it, I can just tuck that tape behind and it's all set together. I don't have to worry about peeling it up and mess, messing up any single pieces. And again, I'm just using score tape to secure down those clouds. We have a roll of score tape for every seat in the house here too, so it's definitely one of my favorite adhesives. stabilizing that other side underneath. Just playing with placement. I feel like I should sing in the downtime. Do 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 do. I used a Memento Ink London Fog. I didn't want it to be super contrasty and kind of light in the, the text. I also used the London Fog on the unicorn from earlier and um, 
then colored in with just some alcohol ink markers. I like using the lighter color so that it doesn't have so much contrast when I'm coloring and it kind of just adds a little bit of shadow. You can see here I cut a little piece of um, foam tape across it so that I made two triangles because I'm going to pop these um, clouds up and it's easier in a triangle shape to get those to go underneath a cloud. So you can cut up your foam tapes into all kinds of different shapes that work well. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed making this fun shaker card with us. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your shaker card. Have a great day.